Kashi is at the northwest corner of China. It is a short one and a half hour flight from Wulu Muqi, the capital city of Xinjiang. Kashi was an important station in the Silk Road era, but now it is better known for its bustling Sunday market. The population of Kashi is mostly Muslim Uyghurs. They are a Chinese minority, but most of them do not speak or understand Chinese. Very few of their children attend Chinese schools, but they do use Chinese currency, and signs are usually bilingual. Nothing would stop a good business transaction, of course, no matter what tongues people speak. On weekdays, the Sunday market site is dominated by a covered indoor bazaar with a formal entrance. Inside, a wide assortment of merchandises is sold by independent vendors. Traffic volume is low, and vendors are laid back. But on Sunday morning, all hell breaks loose outside the indoor bazaar. All means of transport are used to carry people and merchandises to the outdoor market. Special buses carry loads of customers from surrounding areas. With so many vehicles, parking is a real problem. But let's see what are for sale today. Where shall we start? The sun is really very hot. Let's go into the shade and get something cool to drink. A hat may come in handy under such strong sun, but if you don't like their designs, buy some materials to make your own. I am hungry already. Let's have some shish kebabs. And stretched noodles. Well, that noodle is not bad, but let's see how the noodle masters do it. <laughs> <laughs> Stretch noodles are only one miracle of the wheat flour. Another miracle is nang. Nang is a general term for Xinjiang style bread. 
They come in many sizes, shapes, and varieties. They can be shaped like bagels, buns, flat pancakes, or with meat fillings. You can buy ready-made nang from a street vendor, but nang is at its best right out of the oven. Let's see how nang is made. First, a plain flat nang. <laughs> Next, a nang with meat fillings. <laughs> Muslims don't eat pork. Goats or lambs are their main source of meat. Like the Chinese, the Uyghurs eat all parts of the animals, literally from head to toes, including the internal organs. The heads and feet are usually boiled plain and served with salty condiments. The rest of the carcass can be roasted, the meat can be grilled as kebabs, or make into stews. Internal organs are another delicacy. Goat meat or lamb meat is served liberally in eateries. It is not unusual to find them in your breakfast, lunch, and dinner as well. What are for sale in the Sunday market vary with the season. In late summer, for example, Many variety of fruits are available, most notably grapes and harmi melons. No Sunday market is complete without some live music band. For city folks who are used to shopping at antiseptic supermarkets and department stores, the Sunday market in Kashi brings back the excitement of free-for-all bargaining and treasure hunts where all your senses are fully engaged. It is an experience that no visit to any local fairs can match, and no matter how many pictures you have taken, you will still wonder how many other gems you might have missed. And you will forever relive the Sunday market in your dreams.